All right, here we go. We're right back in it. My uh, internet has been shut off for the last two weeks, so sorry. I never got to finish this one at least before it got shut off, but we're in good shape now. And um, <laughs> now we're inside the original classic Pong game. As we're going to have the paddles on the both sides, on both sides of us hitting the balls back and forth. And we got some B-Boys in our way. The blue one is the one that you got to worry about. The kind of yellowish orange ones are irritating, but if you kill the blue one, you don't even have to worry about the other guys. Yeah, get in there. And done. You can see the paddles on both sides going back and forth. You want to break through them. Okay, we got two guys with boom boxes. And again, these are really the only ones you have to worry about. The guys with the boom boxes, when the music is playing, it like supercharges the other zombies and makes them harder to kill. So in any other part, they're the guys you want to knock out in the first place anyway. Because they're making everybody else a lot harder to fight. Okay, there's a blaster bullet behind us, and keep moving. And obviously we're still in the Rosalind costume, which is really cool. And back out. Alright, up here, this helicopter. Look on the left, it says Otaku Cosplay Costumes. That's another Easter egg right there. There was a game, or series of games, called No More Heroes came out that was made by a guy named uh, Goichi Suda, a.k.a. Suda51. That's a reference to the No More Heroes series of games, and coincidentally, the creative producer for this game was, drumroll please, Suda51. So, still running with these Easter eggs. Now, all the guys up here on this roof, they give you a lot of the... A lot of the more difficult guys to fight. Obviously the Elvis guys with the guitars that do serious damage to you with the guitars if they hit you. Then those prancing guys that do uppercuts and throw molotovs at you. Those guys, yeah. You should have run over to him before he throws a molotov at you. And I like to use my strongest combos up here because they're throwing their strongest zombies at you up here. Get them both, get them both, yeah. Okay, that's 10 of 10. But we got more guys coming. Guys with boom boxes. That are like supercharging all the other zombies. Yeah, and there we go. See, he does this backspin. When he does the backspin, you can't get out of the way and you can't hurt him. And he taught, yeah, sweet. So anytime you see those guys, you want to get them first. Oh, yeah, very cool. He's doing some sparkle hunting right at the end of it. I wasn't even going for that. Very nice. More Molotov guys. Get rid of this fucker. Ah! Yay. And okay. Oh shit! Yep. There was another guy prancing over there. He was charging up to throw a Molotov at me, so. Close in the gap and get rid of him. Ah, slash! We got two more. And there's the other one. Yeah! <laughs> it didn't look like I was anywhere near him, but okay. I'll take it. Now you can use your uh, chainsaw blaster to fight some of those guys, but I don't. Because there's a helicopter right here that you have to shoot. And you have to do it in a short period of time. You can see there's a blaster bullet right there, but a lot of times you can't get over to it, get the bullet, and then shoot it down before it explodes. Alright, cool. Now before we leave, over in this corner is another lollipop. That one's not for health, that one's a collectible. And we're going into another game. Ah, oh, we're going into another one, very cool. 
I don't know. Any of y'all ever see that uh, that 80s movie Tron? <laughs> Are you ready? Well, here you go. Jeez. Okay, this one, yeah, I gotta concentrate. I probably died more times in this part of this level than any other. This one's tricky. You get hit with anything, you die. You start over. And just scale your way to the top. Yeah, these blue... Look at this. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's supposed to be an Easter egg. If it is, I can't tell you what it is. I just think it's a trip that they're dry, that they're dropping giant blue cows at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, no stranger than anything else in this game. Someone's manipulating us. And we're still the pink digital overlay. Now these vinyl discs that are going by, yeah, and the giant vans coming at you too. I thought maybe it was a DeLorean at first, but I don't I don't think so. But you can shoot the the black records, but you can't shoot the blue vinyl. It doesn't do anything. Come on, come on, almost at the top, make this. It'll really piss you off, too, if you get really close to the top and die. Come on, make it, make it, we're there. Just wait for these to close, because you'll fall through those gaps. And we did it, we're there, we're out, yeah! Very cool, first try. Now, normally, if I run through this level, I'll die here at least three times. Right up here, this springboard over this horse. There's a collectible lollipop up there, which I've already actually got. I don't really need it. But that's, uh, again, not for health. It's a collectible. And right around the corner, here comes our boss battle. Yeah, and I've been wanting to talk about this boss battle. That's where we need to go, Julian. And just listen to the music, first of all. Just listen to the music. It's awesome. You know, if you love the funk genre, it's awesome. <laughs> Alright, that's our man, Josie James. No, it says when it gives his description that his uh, his favorites are Parliament Funkadelic and Rick James. That sounded a lot like James Brown to me, those horns. I mean, obviously, uh, Parliament had some great horns, but that was very James Brown sounding to me. Now, this boss battle is actually fun, and I love the way he talks, using one of those vocoders. Give it that funky electronic sound. Now, this boss battle isn't near as complicated. Okay, here we go. Parliament, Rick James, and eight-foot piles of cocaine. <laughs> That's this guy. This boss battle isn't near as hard as the one before it, or as complicated. Get out of the way! Yeah. He goes up in the air and drops down on you. If he misses, he'll sit there for a minute and give you, give you a little bit of time to chop away at him. Then these staircases appear. Climb the staircases, they have blaster bullets on them. And he's dropping these, these bombs at you like Pitfall. If you ever played that old uh, game Pitfall for the original Atari system. <laughs> they look just like that. And just keep blasting them until there. Yeah. Ah! Until the staircases disappear and then go get him again. And through her chainsaw dash, that spinning thing that she does. <laughs> I like to use that a lot in this boss battle. Especially for the next segment of it. Ugh. And of course he will shoot at you. Boom, we should have him here. Then we're going to get those staircases again. Yeah. Just calm down, 
and just keep blasting. Oh, that didn't take long. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> That's all good. Gonna do the spin again. Oh, and he backed off. You know, if I wasn't doing that spin, he probably would have stopped right there. I'll wait for him to try to drop on us again. Yeah, whenever he says, Oh, you retarded, that means he's about to shoot at you. Get out of the way! Alright, we got him. Remember all the different things in the boss battle, the hippie zombie. All the different things that came at us in the last boss. There's not near, there's not hardly any of that in here. And check out her dad. <laughs> she was trained by the best. And this is the final segment. I've seen a lot of people handle this, you know, their own ways. This is the way I do it, and it seems to work out okay. You'll get hit a lot less times. You'll still probably get hit once or twice, but... <laughs> and I love the vocoder. Okay, I use the, uh, the chainsaw dash and then do the spin. You'll see there's red shots of electricity coming to these. And whenever you're standing next to it, it'll shock you. But when you're doing this spin, nothing hurts you. And it still does damage. Okay, get out of the way. Yeah, too bad it doesn't last longer, right? And again. See, it's electrified and it didn't do any damage to us. Next. Very nice. This is It goes by really quickly this way, too. off. Okay, there's one more. Ah! Oh. <laughs> get to the last one and I get shot. Did I mention he shoots at you, too? And wait, I'm too close. Ah! Oh. Nope, my fault, but that's perfectly alright. Because that's the end right there. All we gotta do is go get him. It's dangerous. Go, go, go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. One big diagonal slash, and he's out of here. Very cool. Wait, hold on. If you kill me, you never see your sister. <sighs> no. Hey, you promised you'd give her back if we won. <laughs> you just did what I said. <laughs> Yeah, love the top hat too. I mean, Slash from Guns N' Roses was always known for that big hat that he wore, but it wasn't near as big as this one. Yep, sorry, brother. I love how she, how she says, stop making fun of Stephen Hawking. He's a great man. <laughs> that he is, you know what I mean? Can't deny that one. Wink. Alright, awesome. This is a great level. I love this one. This one's very cool. The next one is really long. It's not one of my favorites, but it's it's okay. Well, how'd I do? How'd I do? A plus, A plus. Yeah, right there. Very cool, and the high score. All right, y'all. I'm going to end this one right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.